Hello children, welcome to computer class of 5th standard. Today, we are going to continue same chapter, chapter number 1, Evolution of Computer. Students, in the last class, we have discussed generations of computer. Our today's objective is to learn about characteristics of computer and limitations of computer. So dear children, open your book at page number 11. Let us start with the first topic of the day that is characteristics of computer. A computer is better than human being as it possesses the following capabilities. First one is speed. A computer works very fast and can do large number of calculations quickly as compared to human being. Speed is the amount of time taken by the computer in completing the task. Second is accuracy. A computer is very accurate. It doesn't make any kind of mistake in calculating. And capable of handling complex instructions accurately. If the data fed into a computer is wrong, it may produce an inaccurate result. So, accuracy refers to the degree of perfection of operations performed by a computer. Let's move further. Next point is reliability. Reliability refers to the quality of computer system to perform well and complete its allotted duties on time without experiencing any system failure. In case of any failure in the computer system, there is a provision for immediate backup of information and programs. Next one is versatility. A computer can perform a variety of tasks as it can be used in almost all fields such as education, science and technology, business, accounts, communication, etc. Next one is storage. Storage is the capacity of a computer to store data. A computer can store large amount of data which can be used anytime. You can store data into a computer through various external and internal devices such as hard disk, CD, DVD, RAM, ROM. A hard disk can store the maximum amount of data among these devices. The maximum amount of data that can be stored depends on the device chosen by the user. Now students, come on page number 12. Next point we have diligence. A computer has ability to do any work continuously for many hours. But a person gets tired of doing some work in a few hours. Even after the computer has worked for such a long time, there is no decrease in its ability to work and the accuracy of the result. Moving further, 
Next point is multitasking. Multitasking is also a very special feature of computers. A user can do different types of tasks on the computer at the same time. For example, like we are using MS Word in computer as well as listening to songs and also getting printouts. In this way, we can do a lot of work at the same time. Now students, let's discuss some side questions which is given on page number 11. And the very first side question is, Chakat's loom was the first machine that used the interchangeable punch cards to obtain the design pattern on the clothes automatically. Later on, these punch cards were adopted by British mathematician Charles Babbage as an input output medium for his proposed analytical engine and an American statistician Herman Horath to feed data to his census machine. Next side question we have Did Hoff introduce the first microprocessor in 1971 for Intel? It was known as Intel 4004. Last side question which we are going to discuss is Transistors were invented in 1947 by trio John Birdie, William Shockley and Walter Britton at Bell Labs. Now students, we are going to discuss limitations of computer and it's given on page number 12 and the first limitation is incapability to think. A computer can't think and take decisions on its own. In case of any error, it can't take any alternative action. Second limitation is no intelligence. Unlike human beings, a computer has no IQ. It needs instructions at every step. Last limitation is dependence on power. A computer is an electronic machine. Thus, it depends on power make it costly. It can't work without electricity. Now students, today we have discussed characteristics of computer and limitations of computer. So try to solve back exercise. Thank you and have a nice day.